Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We're going to be talking about Jalen Hurts and why I think he's going to have a very successful 2021 NFL season this year for the Philadelphia Eagles. I think he's going to, he has the potential to be a top 10 quarterback. I think he'll end up being uh, a top 16 quarterback in the league. And I'll explain why I think that in today's video, in today's film session. Before we get started, though, please drop a quick like and a sub on today's video. I'd really appreciate that. It would really help my channel grow. And with that said, let's dive right into the video, and I hope you enjoy. So I'm going to be taking some footage from the Steelers versus Eagles game two weeks ago, the preseason opener for uh, the Eagles. Uh, I obviously no footage from uh, Jalen Hurts last week because he ended up going to the hospital uh, due to you know uh, some uh, illness that he was was going through. But you know in that Steelers game, I know the stats aren't pretty. I know three for seven, fifty four yards, four rushing yards on one attempt. They're not pretty stats. But what I saw from Jalen Hurts in that game. Uh, with some confidence, and I saw him make some good throws, and a lot of those throws were dropped. Two of those throws, I think, could, should easily have been caught, um, and I thought they should have moved the chains. But what I saw from him were the completed passes. I thought he did a really good job on. Uh, he missed one or two throws, but overall, I thought that in that game, I saw enough from him. Uh, plus, what the, some of the stuff that I saw last season, some of the stuff that I know Jalen Hurts is comfortable with and you know capable of, and this, that's stuff that I'll show you guys in today's video. Um, you know, running the football, throwing the football deep downfield. All that stuff makes me really confident in him, ha in him having a really big season this year. Now, though, let's dive into the film session. And talking about, you know, missed throws and missed opportunities, you're going to see this receiver one-on-one -on, -one, uh, on the bottom of your screen. Jalen Hurts, obviously, in the shotgun here. This is going to be a, this is going to be an incomplete pass, but this is what I really like from Jalen Hurts here. You know, one, two, three, four-step drop, sets his feet, gets his legs ready, and you see he's ready to throw this football to the outside to that back shoulder before this receiver's made his move to come back. You see this anticipation on this throw. And I really like the anticipation on this throw because it shows that Jalen Hurts, you know, he knows where he wants for the football. This is actually not a bad throw. This is a drop ball. This should be caught. Yes, it should probably be uh, in, in a place where the receiver doesn't have to die for it, but it's away from the corner. He thinks the corner's going to be a little bit more sticky in coverage. But at the end of the day, I'm not actually opposed to this throw. This is a, this is a solid throw. It's dropped. You know, the receiver gets both hands on it. Uh, but, you know, this is anticipation. This is solid, uh, you know, feel for the game. Knows where he wants to go with the football. I really like the start from Jalen Hurts. And, you know, he's got power and accuracy to the outside, outside the numbers. I think that's a very important part of his game, being able to throw outside the numbers. Because all, all the quarterbacks in the NFL can throw outside the numbers. But, you know, the ability to throw uh, outside the numbers with accuracy and power and make good throws like that, that's something that Jalen Hurts can do. And when I see him throw the football, he has the zip on the football that makes me really excited. I'll show you another, uh, you know, clip of him, you know, really putting some zip on the football, really, really getting that ball to move. So overall here, I like this throw and I like what this throw shows, shows the anticipation, shows how comfortable he is in the pocket um, and how he makes quick decisions. And all of those are good traits, but especially the one about him having zip on the football. And you can see here, you know, he's just, he's smooth. He's really smooth. And that's something that I look for in these younger quarterbacks. How smooth are they? Uh, we see a guy like Zach Wilson, and of course Zach Wilson hasn't played an actual NFL snap in his career yet, but you see Zach Wilson, you see the problems with Zach Wilson, you see how smooth he is. Jalen Hurts reminds me, in a way, of that, just the smoothness, just the, 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 the subtlety to his game, right? Simply just sits back here, waits for the pressure to come, waits for the pocket to collapse, allows every single moment extra, and simply just look at the zip on that ball. Look how nice that spiral is, nice to an open man in Dallas Goddard. And, you know, he's leading his receiver open throwing that ball into the open space over here, away from the defender, seeing that there's open space for Goddard to run into and run after the catch and make a big play after. So, you know, he sets up his 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 targets in good in, in good situations, but just look how smooth and comfortable he looks in the pocket. Really looks in control. Um, and that's a big part of his game. And I really think that, you know, if he if he's in control, he's making the throws he's comfortable with, and he's showing that accuracy and zip on the ball leaving his receivers open, he's going to be very successful. And that's exactly what he did against the Steelers. But another big part of his game is to create using his legs. This is not a situation where he runs the ball, but it's a situation where he extends the play. So as you see, pressure's coming. There's one, two, three, four, five guys here in the general area of Jalen Hurts. Hurts feels the pressure, feels like he has to get outside, and that's exactly what he does. Not a lot of quarterbacks can be really mobile. Uh, Hertz is one of those elite mobile quarterbacks, and you see how he just throws the run, dumps it off, and you know this isn't a big play. But this, this, if this is if this is a guy like Tom Brady, uh, Tom Brady's probably throwing the ball out of bounds, number one, uh, in this situation. But for a lot of quarterbacks, this is a sack or this ball's being thrown out of bounds. But not with a guy like Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts can throw the run. He can be mobile, um, and he can really extend plays, especially when the plays break down. Finds his tight end there. I think that's Zach Hurts uh, for a four, five, six yard gain. Uh, you know. 
helps helps them stay in front of the chain. So that's something that Jalen Hurts can do. Because he's mobile, because he can evade pressure like this, he can extend plays and make the most out of nothing. So that's another big part of Jalen Hurts' game that I think he's going to be very successful with uh, this season. And also when we talk about Jalen Hurts, uh, I love the power uh, you know that he displays uh, in, in, in his art. There's there's some serious uh, art strength in, in, in his throwing. This is going to be Zach Ertz running an in-breaking route here, uh, you know, try to pick up his first down. And this is another thing, you know, Hertz just looks smooth. You know, he looks smooth, he looks comfortable in the pocket, takes a little step drop back, you know, he's surveying the field, and then he simply fires that ball right into where Zach Ertz is, picks up the first down. This is an accurate throw, it's a powerful throw, it's a strong throw. It's not a scared throw, it's a strong throw into the right spot to pick up the first down. And these are the kinds of throws that Jalen Hurts needs to make, and these are the kinds of th throws that Jalen Hurts is capable of. And he showed that even in a game where he didn't put up the best numbers, 3 for 7, 54 yards, obviously didn't play a ton of time, you know, only basically played the, the just just under the first quarter, I'm pretty sure, uh, before they pulled him. But, you know, this is a good throw. It's an accurate throw. It's a, it's, it's a you know, it's a throw with power and intention, um, and it picks up the first down. I, I really like this from Jalen Hurts. But at the same time, there's more to his game than just throwing the football. And these, this is a play from last year. The next three plays that I'm going to show you are the last three plays I'm going to show you. And they're all from last year. And they're showcasing a, a few different things. In this situation, we're going to see, uh, you know, pretty much the pocket collapse. You see the pressure comes. Jalen Hurts is forcing it outside. But instead of throwing it like he did last time, he's simply going to run. And you can see the the athletic ability from Jalen Hurts, the ability to extend plays, especially when the play breaks down. This play is, this play is broken down, right? There's nothing here. Uh, you know, pressure is coming. He's able to get out of the pocket, run, pick up the first down, and then more. And then he's got the you know the awareness to get out of bounds um, uh, and you know make sure that he's not in a, in a situation where he can get hurt. So he gets out of bounds um, and stops the clock too, which I guess is good with you know just look, look just look at the game situation. Second uh, second quarter, eighteen seconds left. You got to get out of bounds. Uh, to stop that clock. So I really like this play for Jalen Hurts, really showcasing what he's able to do running outside the pocket. This is another play. Uh, and this is the play, I believe, exactly after. And this is a play where Jalen Hurts, you know, steps back in the pocket, realizes one, two, three, four, five guys, doesn't really have anywhere to go with the football, but he sees all this open space in the middle. And normally, you know, in you know, with 15 seconds left uh, in the second quarter, you would be like, nope, you don't want to run the football. You need to get the ball out of bounds. Uh, but you see that there's a timeout, so he's understanding the game situation, understands what, what he has, and he sees all this open space here, and he can move up into this open space because he's got that speed to evade defenders. You see him just simply move up, pick the first down, slide, once again, careful of his body. These are all really good traits from Jalen Hurts, really showcasing his athleticism, his ability to get out to the pocket and run, but more importantly, his ability to extend plays, especially when these plays are breaking down. And these are back-to-back -back plays where the Saints defense should get to him. Remember, that Eagles offside was absolutely atrocious last year, but Hurts' ability to make plays uh, especially with his legs and really run outside the pocket helps hide that. But at the same time, you got to remember Hertz is an accomplished passer too. In this situation, this is a game against the Dallas Cowboys uh, last season. Uh, he drops back, waits a little bit, you know, evades the pressure. You know, once again, this Eagles offensive line was really bad. This pressure is coming, and Hertz feels that pressure, so he has to move outside. Once again, using his his mobility to get outside of the pocket, really make sure that there isn't really pressure in his face. And then look at this throw. Flings this ball probably 50, 60 yards deep downfield to Sean Jackson. Sean Jackson evades a tackle and is gone for a touchdown. This is just a really good throw by Jalen Hurts. Shows that power deep downfield, shows that arm strength. It really shows that ability to take the, take the top off of defense. Plus, with that accuracy and that arm strength uh, to the outside of, of, of the football field, these are all really good traits that I think could make Jalen Hurts really successful at the next uh, next season. So with that said, I mean, J Jalen Hurts has, has has everything. I think his ability to be mobile, his ability to throw the run, his ability to have that, that arm strength, his you know comfort in the pocket, his comfort with the offense in a second year, uh, his ability to take the top of a defense, his ability to run the football actively, uh, evade defenders, uh, really hide a bad Eagles offensive line at times last year. All these things make me really confident that with another, you know, another season, another year of learning, and he looks a lot of bit more. He looks he looks a lot more comfortable in the pocket, and even in that preseason game uh, that we saw. I think Jalen Hurts is going to have a really good year. I really do. I think he's going to be an above average quarterback in the NFL because he's going to really utilize his legs. He's really going to utilize his arm strength, and he's so smooth with the football. He's got great zip on the football. He's got all the the the, the great. Uh, you know, measurables and those things that he that, that he can do. He can throw the ball deep downfield. He can throw the ball inside the numbers, outside the numbers with accuracy, with touch, with power. But more importantly, he can run the football. And especially because Jalen Hurts is, I don't see him as an above average thrower of the football. I mean, he can throw the football well. Uh, you know, deep downfield is where I get concerned with him. But outside the numbers, he's accurate. He's good at leading his uh, receivers open. Accuracy concerns at times for me with Jalen Hurts. 
Uh, but really his big assets are his legs. He really lives off running the football, really lives off extending plays using his legs, and all these things combined. So a pretty average, maybe slightly below average thrower with a very high upside uh, ability to run the football with his legs and throw the run. All these things make me really confident that with the Eagles personnel, especially with guys like Miles Sanders, who, you know, you could utilize in some screen passes and you can utilize as a, almost like a Jalen Hurts, Miles Sanders option plays too. There's a lot to work with with this Eagles offense. And I really think that Jalen Hurts' skill set and the stuff I saw from him, even in that preseason game and towards the end of the last year, especially the Cardinals game and the Saints game, really make me confident that, you know, with another year of learning the offense, actual preseason games and a training camp this year, I think he's going to have a very successful 2021 and really going to establish himself as that Eagles quarterback uh, for the next few years. So I really am excited and pumped for what uh, for what Jalen Hurts is going to do this season. I think he's going to have a very big year for this Eagles team. And with that said, that's pretty much going to end the video for today. Did you agree with my analysis? Why or why not? Leave your comments and thoughts in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Also, if you're new around here, please drop a like and a sub on today's video. I'd really appreciate that. And with that said, I hope you enjoyed the video. And until next time, see ya.